الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله in a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it illustrates for us the importance of being good to our mothers and maintaining those close ties and likewise it illustrates or highlights the point that regardless of whether your mother is Muslim or not that that does not take away from her right over you and her rights over you that you should be obedient kind gentle respectful and obey them in ta'atillah in obedience to Allah but in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you are not you should not obey them listen to this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an asma bid abi bakr as-siddiq رضي الله تعالى عنها قالت قدمت علي أمي وهي مشركة في أحد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فأستفتيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قلت قدمت علي أمي وهي راغبة أفأصل أمي؟ قال نعم سلي أمك رواه البخاري واللفت للبخاري In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم it was reported on the authority of Asma bin Abi Bakr al-Siddiq رضي الله تعالى عنها that she said my mother came to me while she was still a baby during the time of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning when the Prophet was living. And so I asked him saying, my mother has come to see me and she asked something of me. Shall I give her something? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yes, be kind to your mother. Ruahu Bukhari and Muslim. And this is the wording of Al-Bukhari. So she came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked about her mother who was a pagan. She was a mushrika as was mentioned in the hadith. That means she worshipped many gods or idols and idols with Allah Azza wa Jal or other than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But even though that was the case the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered her to be to give to her mother, to serve her mother, to answer the request of her mother, regardless of her shirk. So that shows us the excellent and great status that being merciful and kind and gentle and respectful to our parents as in Islam. And as we mentioned prior to this, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al-Kareem, وَقَدَى رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ حِسَانًا That your Lord has commanded you to worship none other than Him or none except Him. And to your parents, be respectful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coupled Tawheed, which is Ibadah, is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, along with the duty of serving one's parents. Showing us that both of them, meaning both of those duties, are acts of worship. Worshiping Allah, Khalis, and serving one's parents. And likewise, it shows us that they're both commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا That they're both acts of uh, ibadah. 
And likewise, we see that they are both from Hakuk. Haq Allah Azza wa Jal wa Haq al Makhluk. So also that ayat shows us that ayat contains two different rights. The rights of Allah, the only one worthy of worship, and the rights of his creation. That the creation has rights. We have rights over one another. Your neighbors have rights over you. Your parents have rights over you. Your elders have rights over you. Your parents' friends have rights over you. As is contained in ahadith of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And so that lets us know that everyone has, has rights. And from those greatest rights, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the rights of the parents. From this hadith, it shows us the obligation to seek advice from the people of knowledge when one is in doubt. This hadith also shows us that it's an obligation to be kind to one's mother even though she may be a disbeliever. This hadith also illustrates the haris, the, the hars of the Sahaba meaning that they were uh, very forthcoming in seeking knowledge that they wanted to know how to practice Allah and how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better so that they would ask the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when they had issues even if some, something is delicate as serving one's mother she wanted to know whether this was correct because she's a pagan so she wanted to know is this right my mother wants something from me should I give it to her so she asked the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This shows that Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'im were looking to get to Jannah. And they wanted to know those things which would help them come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They wanted to know what the halal and the haram was. They wanted to know the boundaries. So that's a great illustration for us. And that we should follow the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Sahaba and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be better with our parents.